What's going on guys? Killer6 back with my chill and kill Zane build. Now this is a clone slash sentinel hybrid build. Basically you can swap between clone and sentinel as your primary action skill and then you're going to use mantis cannon as your secondary action skill all the time. So this build is a little bit different from my nuclear revolt and uh, nuclear winter Zane builds and that you don't really need to use the sentinel cryo anointments on your weapons. As a matter of fact, it honestly doesn't even really matter what annoyments you use on your weapons. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go along. So let's start things off with the gear. Number one, I love the light show. You don't have to use the light show. As a matter of fact, if you want a base game version of this build, you can switch the light show with say like the miscreant or a uh, hell shock. There's a bunch of really good base game pistol options. The Maggie, you can use a hell walker if you want. I like the light show because high fire rate and it kind of negates some of my accuracy issues i can spray and pray as you would say light show is the way to go if you want to do the best damage in my opinion as this zane so we got fire radiation cryo shock and corrosive on that now the main thing that you need for your clone is you want to have sandhawks these things are so good for the clone that it, it almost feels like you don't really need anything else but in the beginning footage when you see me absolutely melt down hemavorous that's where we're actually using something different we're actually using the grease trap for that the most ideal weapons for the clone are the Sandhawks, Radiation, Fire, Shock, and Corrosive. And honestly, the uh, the damage numbers on these, I mean, I farm all my stuff legit, so there's wide variety in the damage numbers. I do need to reroll the anointment on this thing, not that it really matters that much, since really I just use the Sandhawks on the clone, and the clone doesn't benefit from anything except for Splash, and you can't roll Splash on this. Soul Render is kind of a fun weapon in the clone's hand. The clone always shoots everything as burst fire weapons, so that's why these full auto like light shows and tizzies and things like that aren't ideal. I I do also have the no pew pew i've heard a lot of people talk about how good that is in the clone sand i've not really used it that much personally but if you want to it's on there then we've got of course the free radical the plasma coil uh the grease trap like i told you guys the needle gun this thing's great this thing debuffs enemies and also does massive amounts of damage you guys have probably seen me use this recently quite a bit as a matter of fact and this is technically this is a base game item now because they've made the cartels event permanent and you get this from the cartels all right let's go now to the shields i'm actually using the frozen heart i know everybody in the world world is using the revolter it's on here if you want to mess with it and there are times where i switch to the revolter but for the most part the frozen heart is going to do amazing work for you basically the frozen heart and i've been using the frozen snowshoe for forever but the frozen heart's actually better even though it has a lower capacity than the frozen snowshoe it has a faster recharge rate a faster recharge delay a wider radius on the nova much like the the frozen snowshoe both of them heal for 30 percent of the nova damage and since this does more nova damage that means more healing when you actually hit enemies with this those are the two shield options that i've included on here and those are the only two that you should need with this build so not super gear dependent frozen heart is another base game item if you <laughs> care about that speaking of base game items the recurring hex is my grenade of choice and i'm going with the action skill end anointment on this thing and i've got cryo with this one that way every single thing that i'm using i will get cryo just by popping my mantis cannon so check this out if I use my Mantis Cannon, boom, that's action skill end. Right now, everything that I have will get the effects of this action skill end cryo damage for the next 10 seconds. And there should never be a point where it's more than 10 seconds between you shooting the Mantis Cannon because you want to keep procking that as much as possible. What you want to be doing is hitting the Mantis Cannon once every three or four seconds, typically. All right, moving on to the class mods. Now, you can absolutely 100% use an executor class mod with this build that's again a base game class mod the reason i'm not yet using the executor class mod is because i'm waiting to get one that has as good of perks as the one that i have here with my cn dead splash damage and action skill damage those are the things that i'm looking for the shield recharge rate is great as well but i would much rather have mag size or some other effect on there but yeah cn dead is great cn dead you do need dlc one in order to use this thing of course you know if you can find good executors though i mean i do have quite a few good executors on this build and every single thing that i've included on this build is legitimately farmed by me there's nothing that's been accepted as a gift there's nothing that's been modified it's all stuff that i farm legit so use this build with confidence going back to the grenades real quick i didn't cover the other grenades so basically i've got a bunch of different hexes and they all have different action skill and element effects now i do have two corrosive ones on there but this one has cryo efficiency this one has um radiation that's why there's two different corrosive ones on there and then we've also got a piss grenade this one has on grenade throw 
So if you want to mix it up, then my clone does throw the grenade. So you can use the piss grenade and it will trigger that on grenade throw for six seconds. The problem is he won't throw it all the time. We do have duct tape mod though. So occasionally when you're shooting your gun, it'll shoot out piss grenades too if you do switch to that. So moving on now, we're talking about the artifacts. I like to use the icebreaker victory rush. So we get that cryo efficiency, cryo damage. Since it's a victory rush, we get bonus movement speed and damage for 60 seconds when we kill a badass. Since we're on Mayhem 11, we get a lot of badasses. So we constantly are keeping that extra damage and movement speed going. Plus, with it being an icebreaker, you get bonus damage and bonus cryo efficiency versus frozen enemies. And we're going to freeze enemies like crazy with this build. So I like to keep this thing on most of the time. That said, I do have the company man artifacts and various uh, manufacturers here for you guys. Uh, I've also got a cut purse launch pad. This is a level 65. I have yet to get a new one. This one does have mag size on it, so it's a good one. All right, we also have a Schluter on here. Not a perfect roll in this thing. Again, this is just one that I've got, so it's got whatever rolls on. It does have action skill cooldown, which is nice, I guess. But yeah, so if you want to put on the Schluter, you do need to have DLC 6 in order to use this thing. All right, on to the skill tree. So the most important tree for this build is the doubled agent tree this when you capstone this again the clone gets a copy of your gun we have doppel bangers so that i can hold down l1 or r1 which is on controller or if you're on pc that would be f or g to end the action skill we also have which one's real anytime you swap places with your clone and you're going to want to do that frequently in battles enemies are more likely to attack the clone than they are you and you also want to make sure that you're swapping places with your clones so that you trigger the quick breather skill which will give your clone a 50 percent of its max health back just by swapping places with them so if you're constantly switching places every four seconds then and that is a great way to keep your clone going there. Uh, otherwise, all the usual suspects in terms of skills, we've got borrowed time, so we keep our action skill duration going. Essentially, we don't even really need that with the CN Dead class mod, but if you swap to the Executor, this helps out with keeping your action skill going. Quick Breather, we talked about old you, so if you're going to fight for your life, you can press L1 or R1 to destroy your clone and get a second win, and you will be at full 100% health when you do that, which is a really cool effect. Of course, you get that with guardian rank as well but still we got supersonic man so that we move even faster you gotta love moving fast and we'll talk about why that's important here in a second as well we've got boom enhance whenever zane summons his digiclone it consumes up to three grenades for every grenade consumed the digiclone gains increased gun damage max health fire rate reload speed and duration this is a great skill single point nothing at all in the green tree i do not like the green tree if you did want to put any points in the green tree i would say do ready for action to get your shield recharge and brain freeze so that you get your uh, critical hit damage on slowed enemies we're using the purple tree because mantis cannon allows us to spam our cannon and trigger action skill end effects it also allows us to trigger the action skill start activate any effects that trigger on shield break or fill for our shield so basically every time i use my cannon i do the nova from my shield as you can see and that'll freeze enemies near me. And that obviously works in conjunction with the Victory Rush. It works in conjunction with all these skills. And it's crazy good. I like to use Colder Shoulder. This allows me to freeze enemies even more. And also No Way Out. That way I can pull enemies into me and freeze them. And then I swap places with my clone and my clone kills them. It's really cool. You just got to make sure you don't put the clone directly on them because, you know unfortunately the clone will kill itself with splash damage the only reason that we even have points up here in uh, renegade and mana focus is just to get down to the next level we don't really need either of these skills at all but headsman's hand and commitment these are both very good gun damage skills right here for zane and then domino effect for reload speed and fire rate um if you wanted to you could essentially just have the mantis cannon and not even have the augments at all and you'll be fine the blue tree we've capstoned this out so that we get death follows close for kill skill bonus duration and damage and then we got cn red so the action skill automatically anytime you activate your action skill you automatically trigger all of zane's kill skills all of them and there's a bunch of them <laughs> including probably the most important one salvation so every time you pop mantis cannon and then you shoot an enemy with just a single point in salvation you keep your health up highly underrated skill one of the most important skills in all of zane's skill trees believe it or not good misfortune is the thing that keeps your action skill duration going every time you trigger your action skill and even just by shooting enemies you're keeping your action skill duration going it's pretty wild violent violence i've got five points in this plus two points for my class mod 
And then over here, we've got three points in playing dirty plus one point from our class mod. This allows us to have a better fire rate and extra shots. I opted to not go for drone delivery since I very rarely even switch the Sentinel. If you find that you are switching to Sentinel a lot, take a point away from playing dirty. You're still gonna have plenty of percentage of extra shots. Take a point away from that and put it in drone delivery. That's only if you feel like you want to switch between the Sentinel and the clone a lot. Got four in cool hands, so we reload nice and fast. Five in violent speed, five in violent momentum. These two obviously go so well together and they also work really well as supersonic man. So lots of movement speed equals lots of extra damage. In terms of augments, when I switch to this, I use Winter's Drone so that your Sentinel will freeze enemies and I use Bad Dose so your Sentinel will debuff enemies and give you movement speed and damage. All right, so that's the skill tree. Let's go show this build in action again. Make sure you're always holding whichever gun you want your clone to have when you summon them. So right now I want him to have this uh, shock sandhawk. So we did that, boom, he kills that dude nice and quick. We move him over here and uh, he's gonna get distracted by these dudes sometimes, but there he goes, he kills that guy. So let's freeze all these dudes. Uh, I might've put him a little too close to that guy, so I'll help out. There you go. So now we're gonna freeze those guys, move clone up into position and he takes them out for us mostly whatever he doesn't kill you know you jump in and, and take care of that so now i'm going to bring him up here with those guys frozen and let him work on them and then i pick up whatever slack is in the back with my light show freeze dudes we move him into position let him do a lot of the work for us and then we just pick up the scraps it's basically all there is to it if you see an enemy get right up on your clone make sure you move the clone because like i said clone will kill itself with splash damage so enemies that like to jump at your uh, your clone, be aware of those and try to watch out for them. Kind of keep an eye on clone's health bar uh, occasionally. If you see it start to go down again, make sure you swap places with him, give him that 50% uh, healing real quick. Oh, by the way, this is true takedown. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning. This is four player difficulty and I'm recording this live and not really thinking about what I'm doing or anything. <laughs> That's how easy and efficient this build is. I I'm I didn't even like put any thought into it and we just killed everything. And as you see, my clone's action skill duration is still good. If you find that you're about to run to another section, you can go ahead and despawn the clone so you don't have to worry about trying to move them forward with you, which is another cool feature of this build. And as you see, boom, action skills back. We can swap him over to corrosive. We can swap him to this. I can put on the Hellwalker. I could give him whatever basically at this point. And as you see by me using this light show, I didn't even need ammo. So I kept my ammo up that whole time. So that's the build, man. Nice, easy, simple, really strong, really powerful. You guys saw what it did in the intro clips. If you guys have any questions about the build, let me know down in the comment section below. This build and save file and skill tree are all available on my Discord server, which is linked down in the description below. If you just want to see the skill tree image and you don't want to like pause the video, there'll be a image that you can click on in the description below. Click on that and you can see the build anytime you want. If you're on PC, come over to the Discord. You can download the save and try it for yourself if you want. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day.